Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Ahmad, on-court announcer for your Cleveland Cavaliers. And as you can see, I'm repping it, Cleveland State University. You know why? Because today is the day. Today is the day that we honor and we celebrate the 2020 Cleveland State University graduation class. I know it's been a long road. I know it's a lot of bumps and bruises in the way, but guess what? You made it, you made it to the finish line, and we want to say congratulations to you. So I got one question for you. Are you ready? Okay, if you're ready, we got some speakers that's going to be talking to you for the first ever Cleveland State virtual graduation. We have speakers like Provost Jinping Zhu. We also have the president, my main man, Harlan Sands. We also have the board chair, David Gunny, And we also have our keynote speaker who's going to speak to you. We have Lieutenant Governor John Houston. So sit back, enjoy yourself. It is all about you. Cleveland State University, class of 2020, congratulations. Go Vikes! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cleveland State University's 74th commencement exercise. My name is Jian Ping Zhu, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. This is the CSU's first ever virtual commencement. I'm delighted that you can join us today to celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of Cleveland State University's spring class of 2020. As we all know, Students in the spring class of 2020 have been dealing with unprecedented challenges, yet their courage and the perseverance have prevailed. They have overcome daunting challenges and are now crossing the finish line. Congratulations! As we celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of our graduating students, I would like to recognize the university valedictorians of the spring class of 2020. Samantha Pasker and Alan Ray. Samantha is a member of the Mandel Honors College and is graduating with a double major in comparative religion and anthropology with a perfect GPA of 4.0. Alan is also a member of Mandel's Honors College and is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics, also with a perfect GPA of 4.0. In addition to outstanding academic accomplishments, they both have been also very active in extracurricular and volunteer activities. While they represent the best and the brightest of our graduates, they are not alone. Everyone in the spring class of 2020 is special and remarkable. As the graduates in the spring class of 2020 look forward to starting a new chapter in their life, we wish them the very best. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize our faculty's dedication to student success and their outstanding efforts to continue delivery of quality education under extraordinarily challenging conditions. Over a very short period of just 10 days, they converted more than 2,000 classes to remote delivery. Our Center for E-Learning provided training to over 800 faculty on remote course delivery. Staff in IST and Student Affairs distributed hundreds of laptops and hotspots to our students to enable them to participate in remote classes. And our advising staff followed up on over 2,000 alerts to help our students remain engaged and stay on track. It is truly a campus-wide team effort to help our spring class of 2020 cross the finish line. It is now my great pleasure to introduce President Harlan Sands to address the spring class of 2020. Good afternoon, graduates. I'm Harlan Sands, President of Cleveland State University, and on behalf of the entire administration, faculty, and staff of CSU, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you to our first ever virtual commencement. Today, we honor the achievements of more than 2,200 undergraduate, graduate, and doctoral students, making this one of the largest graduating classes in the 56-plus year history of Cleveland State. Let me begin by stating the obvious, 
that a virtual commencement was not part of our plan. There is nowhere I would rather be than in Wallstein Center doing this live, shaking 2,200 hands, and using two full bottles of Purell over eight hours. I want nothing more than to give you the graduation you so richly deserve, to give you the opportunity to celebrate with your parents, grandparents, children, families, as you walk up on stage and wave and get the shout outs from everyone that you have earned. But our world and your senior year didn't turn out the way we planned. So today, I will honor all of you by sharing a couple of thoughts, four things you most certainly can take away from your time at CSU and feel proud about what you have done. First, a sense of incredible discovery. Think back to your early days and weeks on campus. How new it all was. Think about how far you have come, what you have learned, not just academically, but about yourself, about the broader world, about the distance between who you were then and who you are now. Second, have a sense of exponential growth, personal growth, emotional growth, intellectual growth, the ability to see the world from a new and different perspective, to have empathy for others, to understand that we continue to grow as human beings our whole lives. Third, a sense of community. By attending Cleveland State, you became part of something larger, our CSU family. You saw firsthand the diverse views and life experiences of other students, of our faculty and staff. And all of this enriched your time here. And today, you join our more than 140,000 global CSU alumni as a Viking for life, so welcome. And last and most appropriate for today, I hope you feel a sense of monumental achievement. You have accomplished something truly remarkable. Many of you may be the first in your family to graduate from college or to achieve an advanced degree. Many of you may have supported yourself through some or all of your time at CSU by holding down a job or two or three, by squeezing in studying at all hours of the day and night, by raising kids at the same time. Many of you are graduating with honors. Please raise your hands right now and scream yes if any of this describes you. Come on, you've earned it. And then, as you were two months away from graduating, we shut it down for your own safety. We told you to go to your computers to graduate, and you did it without pomp and circumstance, without fanfare, from your homes, sometimes without being fully dressed. Come on now, let's be serious. But you did it absent your friends, without direct contact from your family and far from many members of your extended families. And all of us are grateful because we need each and every one of you now more than ever. We need business leaders, artists, engineers, historians, writers, and yes, healthcare professionals. But the critical piece of this is what you bring to the table, and it's what we do best at CSU. Your ability to be a critical thinker, individuals who can take in what is happening around them and create new paths forward, generate fresh ideas, forge collaborations that lead to transformational growth. And that is who you are. How do I know this? Because of our special brand of engaged learning at Cleveland State. Because of the way each and every one of you reacted 
to how you were tested. You did not stop. You never surrendered. You closed the deal. And although you're entering a very different world from the one you expected, it's a world that needs you. And as you wade through these uncharted waters, I leave you with three pieces of advice. Always be a lifelong learner. Question everything. Remember that every day is a new day. Leave the past behind. It's the key to resilience. And three, always remember where you started and where you came from. We salute the great class of 2020, the class that never, ever gave up. Thank you all. Enjoy the rest of today's virtual commencement and go Vikings. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Cleveland State, I wanna congratulate you on this wonderful achievement. I wish I could be there in person to watch you walk across the stage shake President Sand's hand, wave to your family, smile, maybe even shed a tear or two. And one day we'll get to do that again. But for now, we get to congratulate you via the digital age, via Zoom, kind of the way of the world right now. But as a Cleveland State graduate, we know we've armed you with the skills, knowledge, and ability to tackle any challenge. The last three months, have been unusual. Maybe they've caused economic hardship. Certainly they've interrupted your day-to-day -day routine in some way or fashion. Your family's had to adjust and you've had to adjust. But with a Cleveland State degree, you've got this amazing stamp of approval from an amazing university. And armed with that degree and the confidence and knowledge that you've made it and you've achieved one of your goals, you will enter the workforce or maybe move on to another level of school with confidence, with strength, and with knowledge that you've been prepared by a wonderful school. Again, I want to congratulate you so much for what you've done over the past year, two years, four years, or even more. And someday I hope to shake your hand and pat you on the back in person. But until that time, take this degree, go off and do great things, and be proud to be a Viking. President Sands, members of the Board of Trustees, friends and family, and most importantly, to the Cleveland State University Class of 2020. I'm going to be brief, because seriously, who wants to hear somebody bloviate on a Zoom call for more than just a few minutes anyway. Besides, most of you won't remember what I have to say. But while we have a few minutes together on your big day, I do hope you will take a couple of those minutes to really listen to what I have to say. First, let me say that what you're celebrating today is a very big deal. And this is a commencement ceremony like no other. The way you're celebrating is very different than what I'm sure you had in mind when this all began. But building resilience, learning to rise above adversity, and understanding how to see a barrier in your path as a challenge and not as a deterrent are all part of the college experience. And it is also part of life. Congratulations, you've made it this far and you have earned today's recognition. That brings me to the first lesson of this commencement address. In our world and in our own lives, we should celebrate what we value and we should all value education. Congratulations on your graduation and a special thank you to those who supported you in your journey. You have made a commitment to prepare yourself, to better yourself, and to be a more meaningful contributor to the world. That brings me to our second lesson. Those who collaborate best are the ones who win. While earning a diploma is an individual achievement, it is also a collaborative effort because the process of education involves your professors, fellow students, your family and friends, 
and even the public support that created the very institution from which you're graduating today. If you haven't already, you'll soon learn that the ability to work with others will help you achieve much more than you ever could on your own. As six-time NBA champion Michael Jordan astutely said, talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. However, collective responsibility starts with the person you see in the mirror. Lesson three, personal responsibility is the foundational element of your success. And while we will go further when we collaborate with others, every great team is made up of people who are individually accountable. You must have the discipline and the focus to make the most of your God-given talents. As you experience more freedom, your self-discipline will become even more vital to your success. Lesson four, you must serve a purpose higher than yourself. As Mahatma Gandhi said very well, if you want to find yourself, lose yourself in service to others. Fulfillment in life is not about job titles, how much you make, what kind of car you drive, how famous you are, or how large your bank account is. Money and fame sound really great, but I've met many wealthy, popular, and unhappy people. Have a purpose. It will enrich your life and give you fulfillment and meaning. And finally, always choose love over hate. I know this sounds easy, but often in our daily lives, we forget this. Think of every situation you confront in life and think how it might have turned out differently if you had responded with kindness instead of anger. When our pride is wounded, when we get emotional, or when we don't get our way, it's not our instinct to respond with love. We're more likely to lash out or even run away from hurtful moments, often making the problem even worse. It was Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr who wisely said, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. I often describe life like climbing a mountain with no summit. It's a journey, not a destination. When you think you get to the top of that mountain, you realize it's just a hill and you still have many miles to go. May you be blessed in your life's journey. Hello, I'm Mayor Frank Jackson. I want to congratulate Cleveland State University Class of 2020 on your graduation. I know that this is not in the traditional mode, but I want to remind you that your work and your accomplishment is not diminished because of that. So congratulations. What's up, Cleveland State Class of 2020? I'm J.B. Bickerstaff, head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I wanted to take this time to congratulate you on all that you've accomplished, all the achievements and graduating this year under very difficult circumstances. Uh, I wanted you guys to know that we're here for you guys. We've got your back. We believe in you. And even though things are tough right now, uh, we're not done yet. You guys have plenty more to accomplish, plenty more to achieve. Uh, even though we're slowing down, don't let it slow you down. Keep pushing, keep moving forward and stay safe. To the 2020 graduating class of Cleveland State, I would like to say congratulations. I'm Norris Cole, a fellow Cleveland State alum, and I want you guys to know graduation is an exciting time. It shows how dedicated you were during the school year. It shows your commitment to education. And now you'll have a chance to go out in the professional world and be of service and give back and help solve some of the issues that we have in today's society. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Being able to give back, being able to take care of our families, being able to take care of our society. So I wanna offer my congratulations. I know these are not ideal circumstances, but such is life. We can't always control what happens in life, but we can control how we react to it. So I wanna encourage you guys to continue to working hard. I wanna encourage you to continue to uplift one another. 
I want to encourage you to stay safe during this time. And I also want to encourage you to give back. There's nothing like being of service to someone in need. This is a huge accomplishment. You guys should feel happy. You guys should feel excited. You should feel accomplished. But don't stop here. Continue moving forward. And I'll continue to do my part in supporting Cleveland State University. And I hope you will as well. You know why? Because we're Vikes for life. Go Cleveland State. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Hi, I'm Greg Vlasic, owner of GV Art and Design and 2007 Cleveland State graduate. As a proud alum, I just wanted to take the time and wish the 2020 class congratulations. I know things are a little bit weird right now, but just like in life, sometimes you need to learn to adapt and make the best out of the situation. So again, congratulations, best of luck in the future, and don't ever lose that Cleveland pride. Cleveland State University class of 2020. Oh my goodness. I am so stinking proud of every single one of you. You did it. And you know what? As you pick up your pen to write this next chapter of your life, it's probably already different than you anticipated, but that's okay because with every bump in the road, you learn new things and you develop new skills and it makes you better prepared for any other obstacles that will come in your career and in your life. And they're out there, they're, they're gonna come, and you will be ready for them. So this is a time when a lot of us are talking about things that frustrate us, the things that we don't have, and I'm gonna challenge you to not do that as you start this very important chapter of your life. Thinking positive, keeping an optimistic mind and a grateful heart can go such a long way. There is opportunity out there, but if, if you aren't thinking positive, you might not even be able to see it if it's looking right at you. So that's my challenge for you. I know we don't have that much time and I wanna just pour everything onto you that I've learned since I graduated Cleveland State, but I know we don't have time for that. So I, I wanna tell you what I truly believe is the foundation for any success that I've had in my life. And that is hard work. Um, having a strong work ethic. And you are sitting here today, not only because you're intelligent, but because you've developed that skill of learning how to work hard. You've, you've put in the grit, you've had to be determined to, to graduate. And don't undervalue that skill. Carry it with you, take it into your career, whatever you do, whatever you're passionate about. And I, I think that it is a great equalizer, I do. You're gonna come across people that are probably more talented than you, maybe, maybe more intelligent, or maybe they've come from wealthier families, their journey's been easier. But if you are willing to make the sacrifices, to work hard, to stay up late at night, to get up early in the morning, to hone that craft, I promise you, it will set you apart and you can have whatever it is, is that's in your heart. Now, the question is, are you willing to work hard enough for it? You've worked hard enough to get where you are now, so don't undervalue that skill. Take it with you. I'm so proud of you guys. I love you. Go Vikes. advice from a law grad. Number one, you have the right to remain silent and anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Number two, tell them to come back with a warrant.
Class of 2020, we did it. It's about all for me. Tomi Shout.